So I just deleted like two or three apps on my phone because I just have no time to an extent to go ahead and just go through the photos and videos and delete things. So yeah, let's hope these two videos or apps I deleted gives me all the time that I need to go ahead and record at least this one video. So once again, I already debated with y'all about the, or not debated, but talked to y'all about the mass shooting problem, and etc. And what we need to do to fix it. That's really just what it is, you know. I understand, uh, you know, part of it, part of what I said definitely might, might be an unpopular opinion, but I can rest assure you to a high and heavy extent. You kind of can't care anymore about what's unpopular with certain people. You just got to do what you got to God first do. It would make a God first difference on this planet and society and earth and etc. And that's for the most part what I stand for on a God first Jesus reservation daily basis through the further advancement of all things or through Christ, which was written as me for the further advancement of all people. And so on, you know, and let's go ahead and get get to it again. More news, shall we? Um, by the way, yeah, like I said, you know, I got I, I, on Instagram, I run Kicks for Kids by NJ to the City. I run Feminine Heart Foundation. That's my women's empowerment clothing brand. Um, I run um, uh, Brotherhood Nation Foundation on Instagram. I run um, NJ to the City News, NJ, NJ to the City Music on Instagram. And, you know, so again, follow, follow me on all those vices as you want to. Again, I just, you know, live to continuously reach kids, reach community, help build families, help connect families, you know, do everything I wish I got first can, you know, and I hope everybody can see that within my nature of some sorts, because I don't believe I make it hard. I think it's just once again, do you believe it? Do you know, do you believe the authenticity or do you, you know, just like I said before, you know, live the nitpick and think that everything is one thing when it's really a, some something else, you know, so it all depends at the end of the day. And again, you're not going to beat Deshaun Watson and these Texan Storm picks. And they just literally just did a pick, pick six on me. So, yay. Um, good for that. But, yeah, I'm probably going to wait. I'm probably going to wait to start playing Madden 20 alone because this is just, you know what I mean? If I, make, if I still make these mistakes during Madden 18, imagine me on Madden 20. You know, I'm pretty, I hope to God that the defense is simpler. But still, I mean, come on. How can you make all all these mistakes consistently to an extent? But um, with that being said, all would be the guy for better and for worse. Um, dang it. Um, yeah. Uh, some other news, ladies and gentlemen, is um, yeah, yeah. I just I just talked about. I mean, I the uh, the um, I can still go back and look look up the news for all the the people shot and killed for all the mass shootings. But um, it's the same purpose with that with all of them, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, God is trying to wake our culture up. That is what he's trying to do. He's trying to wake our culture up. <coughs> God works in mysterious ways. He's trying to wake our fallen society called, you know, culture up. Excuse me, that I'm barely getting out of my mouth while trying to burp or whatever else. But that's what it is, ladies and gentlemen. God is trying to get our... He's trying to wake, wake our society up. You know, God works in mysterious ways. And you have to realize that God will let evil, you know, do certain things. You know, he, you know, just so he can once again subliminally send a calling to us telling us, wake up. Stop thinking this. Stop doing that. And you have to wake up and realize that, guys. God is coming back. Jesus is coming back. You know, we don't know when. But I can tell you that God is not allowing all these things to happen, you know, for no good reason. He's allowing it to happen because it's to wake us up and help us realize you better start loving thy neighbors as so you better start doing something different that you know now. You know, you better start you, you gotta start somewhere, you know, and so on, you know, you because you because think about it, you know, and like I said, a lot of people they're drunk on the devil's hate, and that's one of the reasons why they don't want to boom, you know, to bond with their neighbors and they wanna be hostile towards everybody. I mean, and, and I feel bad. I feel bad for all the kids, even in my own county, who suffer through that, you know, who, you know, they could do so much more in life, but they are once again so, you know, so fogged up in whatever the words are, you know, or clouded up in hatred towards their fellow man for whatever reason, especially when that person has a nothing physically or verbally wrong to you. But then to add on to that, I'm absolutely disgusted and disturbed. Why do people still send death threats in 2019? I don't get it. 
most of you, if not all of you, are never going to meet these people in real life. I don't get it. Most of you people who send death threats are lit. Most of you to most, to practically all of you, are never going to see these people in real life. Never. You know, so I don't understand why y'all be sending all these death threats to people. Like, do y'all not have anything better else to do with your lives? I mean, do you not understand? That really makes you a coward sending all those death threats. But once again, we live in that way. We live in a society that I'm not, that's not only desensitized to death, but desensitized to common sense, to basic logic, basic reason, and a lot of things for the reason why people still send death threats. Again, I'm absolutely ashamed to know in 2019 people are doing that. You know, not to say I did not know they did it. Of course, I've been knowing they did it. But I really thought by now, in 2019, people would have woke up from that slumber and they would have realized, hey, why am I wasting my life trying to threaten someone else's life on Instagram or something? Twitter. I mean, for God's sakes, wake up, people. Wake up. I mean, it's not real. It's fake. It's fake. You're a fake person doing all that. But like I said, like another song that I got coming out titled Pride and Ignorance, wake up, 2019, people take pride in their ignorance. That's one of the top reasons why we have all these negative statistics floating around practically every background, every demographic, etc. Because people keep taking pride in ignorance. They're taking pride in not living a conventional life, taking pride in not trying to do things morally right. Better yet, they've made up their own value system negatively, made up their own morals negatively, made up their own code of conduct negatively. They've made up almost everything negative. And I'm just saying, ladies and gentlemen, it's 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 something else that I'm trying to explain, but I kind of can't. But at the same time, I, got, I don't know how to word it. But I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, wake up. Wake up. Like, wake up and realize... Who is there for you? Who is not? Wake up and realize what God wants for you today. Wake up and realize that all these sermons have got to be more than sermons at this point. Wake up and realize the sound of my voice has got to be more than just a you know sermon at this point. More than a motivational speech. Wake up and realize you have got to want to do something better for, your, for yourself, for your family, for your community. I'm telling you, if you want to know what matters to me, it is family, community, and, you know, God, you know, but actually God is first on that list, you know, you know, it, it's faith, family, and, and I was like, faith, family, and friends, you could say, there are three us right there, you know, faith is always going to be number one, um, family is number two, and, but my family ranges from a majority of factors, my family ranges from, you know, my biological family, you know, my, my birth family, you know, and, and my extended family of my younglings, and, and school family and community family and uh, you know around Nakati and part of Egypt, my my family ranges from a majority of places. I can't even lie about that. But I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, my personality is not rocket science. And one of the top things I want people to wake up and realize: my personality is not rocket science. If you were to ask me, all you have to do is let the Holy Father come in and heal you. Let the Holy Father come in and speak to you. Let the Holy Father come in and work his I want to say, magic on you. I mean, for God's sakes, just do something different for your lives. Dare I say it, people are afraid of change. Dare I say it, one of the top reasons why we have all this crime and corruption because people are afraid of change. They, have, they are in love with their sin, and at least the way I look at it. One of the top problems in our society and culture today. People are in love with their sin. They are in love with being ignorant. And ladies and gentlemen, wake up and realize these are causes that have led us where? I would say nowhere in 2019. I mean, think about it. I mean, think about it, ladies and gentlemen. Think about it. I mean, this is just, again... Or I feel the spirituals have guided me in 21 years. Predominantly over the last two or three. Nay, people are in love with their sin. They don't value life like they used to. They don't value their children like they used to. They don't value mental health like they used to. 
They don't value God like they used to. They don't value school like they used to. They don't value a lot of these tools, resources, common sense principles like they used to. They don't value it like they used to. Or they never did better yet for some of these people. And I'm just saying, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, that is part of what I'm saying. Wake up and ask yourself, what in God's name am I living for? One of the top things, if you learn from my Instagram, I want you to ask yourself, what in 2019 do I live for? Because I'm telling you, if it ain't for God first and family and making a Jesus Christ salvation impact, again, you might just be living us. A sleep, a lie, a dream. Like, you live in a dream. You live delusional. Like, trust me, I love Madden. I love playing this game. But if you think for a second that I'm asleep to the world around me, you got another thing coming. <clears throat> if anything, I'm so awoke. Spiritually, that is. And I want the better for all people in Christ's name. I'm tired of hearing about these mass shootings. I'm tired of hearing about gun violence in my own city, for God's sakes. Rapes and so on. Though. It goes on and on and on and on and on. I mean, dare I say it, when does common sense come back? When does logic and reason come back? When do people wake up and realize, dang, have I hit a brick wall? Dang, what is going on with my life? Dang, what could I do different? Etc., etc. But as I've also said before, if I didn't say it on YouTube, I said it on my Instagram. Not Instagram, I said it in my Snapchat, NG to the City, all lowercase. Even our churches, ladies and gentlemen, have turned into a pedophilia house. Trust me, that totally not only dishonors God, but I can tell you, he is disgusted with that and disturbed by that. I'm telling you, so many churches need to be held accountable in 2019 for failing their communities. Sorry for yelling, I guess, but dare I say it, feel my passion, feel my anger, feel what I feel for these topics. I'm telling you. So many churches have failed their communities. And they absolutely should be ashamed for it. But again, if I learn anything from school reviews and reviews, period, these people ain't ashamed. People take pride in their sin. Take pride in all things unclean. But I'm um, 13 minutes into this, ladies and gentlemen. I mean... One of the top moves now that I got a, my driver's license, um, I'm going to tell you, you're definitely, like I said before, like I said before, at the beginning of this uh, whole 2019 year, you are going to see me a lot more places, a lot more often, you know, hopefully at some churches, uh, youth groups, giving, you know, speeches here and there, you know, doing what I can to do independent counseling, independent pastoring, whatever the heck it is, wherever the heck it is, you can say wherever God leads me, because like I say, there is a fallen world out there. That needs Jesus. We are a hurting world. We need Jesus today. Uh, God is allowing all this evil to manifest and happen because he's trying to send us a message. He's trying, And one of the top messages I can tell you is, I'm coming back soon. Get ready, because I'm coming back soon. One of the top messages I can tell you, God is trying to send us all. I'm coming back soon. He's coming back soon. And if you're not ready for, oh, Lord, pray for your soul. Pray for your soul. So 14 minutes into this. So thank you all for listening, watching, viewing, subscribing. I hope I didn't give you a heart attack with half the ways that I was screaming or yelling. But dare I say, sometimes you need to hear, you need to hear me ranting because I'm tired of it all. The abuse, the allegations, the neglect. Wake up, people. God is trying to wake us up because he is coming back soon. And you better be ready. Slash should be ready. Slash smart to be ready. Whose side are you on?
God bless. More coming soon.